Hello, I'm Robert Lissatz and today's vlog is more self-defense oriented and we will talk about the most famous self-defense technique ever. It's the famous groin kick. When I ask women, when I teach martial arts or when I give self-defense classes, what they would do in a particular situation, it's, it's always the answer, <laughs> you know, I would use a groin kick. But it's not that easy. Why? Because it always depends on the situation. Because if a drunken man is hugging you, you can't just kick him in the groin because he hugged you a little bit. You can just push him away or tell him to stop. And then you have to know that your target can move around. And a moving target is obviously harder to hit. When you have to use this kick, it often means that you are in a stressful situation, that there can be uh, violence escalation and that you have a lot of adrenaline in your body. And this means that you often won't have a clear mind and you will forget everything you have ever learned in many martial arts classes. And some researches are also showing that if you hit the guy, the bad guy, uh, with a groin kick, that the situation can get even worse. So, it's not that easy. But, uh, I still recommend to train this kind of kick, because you never know, maybe you can apply it successfully. But, so, does this mean that it's useless to train groin kicks? No, not at all. But, first, you have to know when exactly to use them, Second, you have to know how to execute them. And third of all, you have to also be aware of the whole situation you're in. These were just a few facts about the groin kick you have to think about when you are applying a groin kick. I'm Robert Lissatz and see you tomorrow. Bye.